Hello folks. Okay, this time I want to talk about component testing. So the idea is testing individual units of a program when the rest of the program might not exist yet. So there's two different parts we're going to look at, stubs and drivers. And again, this is likely to happen when we're, we've already written one part of the program and we want to test it, but we don't have the rest of it ready yet, or one person's writing one part of the program and somebody else is writing another, and so different people are on different timelines. Now, all sorts of situations where this might crop up. And the solution is to write a little code segment that's going to substitute for the missing part. So we'll look at the idea of stubs and drivers as different ways to represent the missing pieces of the program. So. A stub is a replacement that we'll use when a particular function or method doesn't exist yet. So I've got, maybe I've got most of my program written, but there's one piece of the program, one function that doesn't exist yet. And I want to test the rest of the program, even though that one piece is missing. So one of the things we can do is, let's say function foo is the one that's missing. We'll write a little tiny version of foo that all it does is prompt the user to type in what foo is supposed to return. So let's say foo is supposed to take an, an, a float as a parameter and return an int. When our little substitute version of foo runs, it'll print out whatever x it was given, and then say, okay, tell me what I should return. The user types something in, foo returns it. So for the rest of the program, it looks as if foo is working just fine. It's just that when the tester is running the program, they actually have to type in a, a return value for foo as the program runs, and then it picks up running normally again. So in this case, foo is called a stub, right? a little replacement for one missing piece of the program. And again, it lets us test the rest of the program or the whatever else it is we're working on before the actual foo exists. And then the flip side is called a driver. Suppose we had function foo, but we didn't have the rest of the program and we wanted to test foo. Well, our driver to substitute for the rest of the program could simply prompt the user, you know, give me a value to pass to foo. User types in the value, program passes it to foo, and then prints out whatever foo is returned. So it says, okay, you know, I passed foo 17, it gave back this. Right, so again, the driver is just acting as something to call foo, to feed it a value and tell us what it gives back. And from a tester's point of view, if we're just trying to test foo, then all I want to know, all I want to be able to do is to say, here's a value, give it to foo, tell me what comes back, right? And I just do that with a whole bunch of different values and see if foo seems to be working correctly. So it's just, our driver is just a mini program that simply exists to call some other function, right? Let's us test that function before the rest of the real program exists. And of course, often you're testing something that's in the middle someplace. So maybe I want to test foo, but foo actually calls something else, and foo is called from someplace else, and neither of those things exist yet. So we need a driver for the thing that calls foo, and we need a stub for the thing that foo calls. So quite often when you're working on one piece in the middle of a system somewhere, you're going to wind up writing a driver to call it, and stubs for the things that it needs to call but that don't yet exist. So you will often see this kind of combination of... Uh, of stubs and drivers to let you test an individual component. So let's have a little bit of a quick play with that. And we've just got a real sort of short Mickey Mouse program here. Um, what did I do? Let's look at square. So I can't type. So we've got this function that returns the square of value, just takes a and x as a parameter, a double, and computes the square and returns it. So if I've written my function and I want to test it, but the program that really calls it doesn't exist yet, and obviously this is a pretty simple one, then we can write a driver program that will call it and test it. So my driver does just exactly that. So ignore uh, most of the error checking here for a second. The driver prompts the user to enter a number, reads it in, and calls square and prints out the result. It says, I called square on this, and here's what it gave me back. This other stuff is just while the driver is running, you know, the user is supposed to type in a number for us to pass to square. 
if they type in something that isn't a number, then we'll um, catch that, we'll give them an error message, and we'll keep cycling until they give us a number that we can actually pass to square. So this part is just error checking for the driver itself, I mean, not really anything to do with the testing of foo, or testing of square, rather, that. So um, the driver just prompts the user, reads in the result, calls square, and tells the tester what came back from that. So if we run our driver, oops, we run our driver, and it says, you know, enter a number. If I type in 17, and it says, okay, I called square on seven and get past it 17, it gave me back 289. So this is the idea for our driver. Again, just something simple to let us enter a value and test square. You know, if I, uh, if I run it, and this was just the error checking that the driver does, right? So these are error messages coming from the driver. And when I eventually give it some valid, valid value, then it goes off and calls square and shows me what square returns. So this gives me the ability to see if square is functioning correctly. So that's the driver idea. The flip side is the stub. So let's say I've got my handy dandy program and this is the program I want to test. The program is supposed to um, call the square of the square of 17 and print it out. So the program is ready, but suppose square doesn't exist yet and I want to test that. So the idea is we'll write a stub for square. And again, that stub is basically going to say, okay, well, I haven't actually written square yet. So all this is going to do is tell you what you what uh, got passed to square and wait for the tester to say, okay, well, in that case, square should return whatever. And it reads it in and returns it. So if I run my program, oops, I run my program, Again, the program passes 17 to square. Um, the stub is then turning around and saying, okay, um, somebody passed me a 17. What do you want me to do with it? So I say, okay, well, I don't know, uh, return 289. And then square gets called again. And again, the stub is saying, ah, wait, somebody passed me 289. What do I do? And I'm going to say return a negative one. And so the program says the final result from square was negative one. Right? So we've got this stuff coming from the stub. And then this stuff coming as the final result for the program. Again, before the real square exists. So just a quick example of stubs and drivers and how to use them.